I'm here at Dassault System with Lisa Bekishan. Lisa, I wonder if you could talk to me a little bit more about what happens behind the scenes to ensure that the systems around an aircraft end up being more sustainable. Yeah, sure. So what we are seeing today is um, a lot of new systems that will be embedded within this new uh, aircraft that uh, intend to be more sustainable. So what we are doing at Dassault System is uh, helping them not only uh, in building the optimal design to, uh, to have uh, the, the right performance and efficiency to at the end um, uh, be part of the sustainability journey, but also to help them in collaborating with, with these other sectors and um, having also building new knowledge on uh, this uh, way of working with, uh, with the new sectors. This is the first step uh, towards sustainability and we are uh, with our tools helping uh, customers to work on that. First because we think that the system architecture functionalities are really key to pave the way of the optimal architecture so we will work a lot on capturing the requirements of, uh, from the, the mission we want to, uh, to accomplish with the, with the new aircraft and from that we will cascade the information, the specification, until the proper components and in 1D we will be able to simulate the overall behavior of, uh, of the concept and this is really important because from that we will make the link then to the 3D. The fact that we will build this uh, virtual uh, twin experience of, uh, of the new aircraft will also be uh, the the, the foundation of all of the other uh, activities and, and processes that our customer may have. They will still be able to rely on this virtual twin uh, to have a step forward and, and better efficiency of all other um, operations. So the virtual twin that you talk about, that is built on your 3D experience platform, is that correct? Yes, so the 3D experience platform is the fact that we can uh, capture in one single tool uh, all of the uh, data requirements, so we will capture from the mission all of the high-level uh, specification and requirements uh, that uh, our customers uh, are relying on, and we will uh, help them in driving uh, the, the, the basis of the conceptual design, so this is where we will uh, often use the MBAC approach, so the, the 1D analysis, uh, so that, that's, that will feed then the 3D detail design uh, that will be even more um, an analyzed and, and, and assessed thanks to simulation. This is also where we will work on certification uh, thanks to really high fidelity analysis about some uh, physical phen phenomena that may occur, uh, especially in this new concept when we are talking about hydrogen tanks, batteries, fuel cells or even hybridization. Um, we need simulation to simulate the behavior of such system for every stages of the mission before going to physical testing. Uh, and the fact that we have this virtual twin will also uh, help a lot in uh, the way they will, uh, they will be more efficient in their f physical testing itself. Uh, by helping them in uh, building um, a virtual twin of the physical test bench so that we will have a smooth uh, uh, path from virtual to physical and physical to, to virtual. And this is really the, the spirit of, of the platform is to, uh, to, to reveal what, what's happening in reality and helping at the end uh, the, the performance, the reality and the safety of, uh, of the real systems. I think it's a really important concept that many people aren't really aware of. Uh, when we talk about sustainability in aviation, many times it's about how efficient um, the engines are and the, the fuel that's being used to propel the aircraft, but also the design process it can be optimised significantly. And as I understand it, the virtual twin allows you to be more efficient and optimised when it comes to the design of the aircraft. Is that right? Yes, right. So what we are also are thinking is how to help our customer to include at the early stages of the design other sustainable aspects. It can be weight saving. We can also help them in having an eye on manufacturing operations and end of life by capturing from the early design stages the data that they will work on uh, towards um, all the circularity and circular economy uh, analysis. Uh, and this is really key because we, we really think that this has to be uh, handled during the design phases. For instance, uh, thinking about dismantling of the aircraft can be possible with the platform by adding a virtual twin of the aircraft configuration when it will be uh, dismantled. Not just helping our customers in building the white design, uh, the white shape, 
even if it's key for the performance, but also having always in mind all of the other uh, uh, stages in the life cycle of the product that are also contributing to the overall sustainability impact. And so does the virtual twin exist alongside the actual aircraft for the duration of the aircraft's life? That, that is to say, are you working with partners um, to provide additional data through the life of the aircraft? Yes, too. So, for instance, we are also, uh, uh, we are also working a lot on the um, operation side and the maintenance uh, parts uh, where the virtual twin will be also uh, uh, very valuable to have cost saving for, uh, for maintenance operations. So the way that we can be better in maintaining uh, our aircraft, uh, making better decisions of if a part can fly again or not, uh, and capturing all of this data. Uh, and this is also where the virtual twin and the 3D expanse platform will be, will be key to capture the data, but also to build knowledge upon this, this data lake and of information. Lisa, thanks so much for talking to me today about what Dassault System is doing behind the scenes. It's really interesting to understand how they are contributing to the sustainable design, not only of new aircraft, but of existing aircraft. Uh, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for this time. <laughs>